Hey, welcome back to Mr. Mig's Classroom. I'm Mr. Mig, and uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the weather section, specifically density altitude of the FAA Part 107 exam. Um, so if you've been watching my videos, uh, you probably have seen the other two weather videos. If you haven't, I suggest watching those first. Um, this one's not crucial that you do it in order, uh, but uh, I, I think it'd be best if you do. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to share my screen. So give me one second here. And I'm going to share this screen here. All right, let me get this out of the way. Okay. So, um, all right. So today, what I want to do is I want to talk about density altitude. This one's pretty confusing for a lot of my students. I think uh, my students run into the problem with this problem here, because it it's just a uh, it, it isn't super, um, I wouldn't say it's super intuitive. Um, it's actually counterintuitive. So basically what density altitude is, it's talking about the how the atmosphere, both the pressure and the temperature affect your drone performance. Um, so let's go through this slide and then we'll get into the next one. So uh, here, first thing it talks about is the standard day. So manufacturers of uh, SUASs or drones, whatever you wanna call them, um, they create the aircraft based on uh, ideal flying conditions or what they call standard conditions. You'll want to know this. You'll want to create a flashcard and know what the standard day is. Um, standard day temperature and atmospheric pressure conditions are determined at sea level and have been standardized to a standard sea level temperature of 15 degrees Celsius, which is 59 degrees Fahrenheit, um, and a standard sea level atmospheric pressure of 29.92 HG or uh, 1,013.2 MBs. Um, know these. They're, they might ask you a straight up question that just says, uh, what is the standard day uh, for atmospheric pressure? Or uh, a drone, what do drone manufacturers make for the standard day? Or what do they base the atmospheric pressure and temperature on when manufacturing a drone? And the answer is 15 degrees Celsius and 29.92 HG. They'll try to mess with you here like they do on all the questions as I've talked about, or not all of them, but a lot of them. So one of the things they'll try to do here is they'll do something like 59 degrees Celsius and 29.92 MB, or like, um, you know, maybe they'll say 15 degrees Celsius, but then do like uh, 1,013.2 HG. I've seen these questions. So be careful of that. I, it's kind of like unfair trickiness that they're doing. They're just trying to see if you can get me mix or mixed up with the Celsius Fahrenheit conversion. Just be aware that they will try to do that. Um, make a flashcard, write standard day on the front, flip it over on the back, put 15 degrees Celsius and then 59 degrees Fahrenheit in parentheses. Um, if you just want to remember the Celsius, I think you'd be fine here. On all the questions I've seen, the answer choice is almost always in Celsius. Uh, but I, I think you'd be fine if you just wrote it in Celsius, to be honest. But if you want to write it in both, write it in both. Just don't let yourself get confused. Obviously, 59 degrees Celsius should be wrong because that's like really, really hot. It'd be like, I don't know, just guessing off the top of my head, something like 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, that's like really hot. Clearly, they're not making the drone based on 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and um, if you want to put it in the HG, this seems to be the preferred method as well instead of the millibars. Anyway, uh, yeah, this combination of temperature and pressure is called standard day. So they will probably check for that. Again, everybody gets slightly different questions on your exam, but I've definitely seen that on the practice tests and my test, and I've heard that from my students' tests. So be prepared for that one, make a flashcard. All right, next thing I wanna go over is, all right, so what is density altitude? And basically the answer is, it's just like, it's really counterintuitive and odd. So essentially it works like this. As density altitude, or sorry, sorry, as your altitude increases, so as you go up in altitude, the density decreases, the density of the air decreases. So basically high density altitude means um, that you're, that there's low density in the air. And low density altitude means there's high density in the air. Because what they're really asking about is 
what is the density at high altitude or at low altitude? So low density altitude would mean your low altitude. So what's the density at low altitude? Um, and then high density altitude, it just means high altitude. What's the air density at high altitude? So as you go up in the atmosphere, the air gets less dense, it gets thinner, right? As you go closer to sea level, the air is more dense, it's thicker, right? Um, so just think of it as the, it's the opposite of what it sounds. So here it's saying air pressure density decreases with increasing altitudes, right? With this affects the performance of an SUAS, similar to how athletes perform performance degrades at high altitudes due to the decrease in oxygen levels, or why it takes longer to boil an egg at high altitudes due to the decrease in atmospheric pressure. However, even at sea level, all right, and this is the important part. So even at sea level, often the local atmospheric pressure is different than the standard pressure due to the presence of air mass. So, okay, like we talked about, say you're up on a mountain or you're in Colorado, right? You're in a mountainous area. You're, the air is going to be thinner, so you're going to have high density altitude because you're higher in the altitude, right? And this will mean worse UA performance, which we'll talk about in the next slide. Um, if you're by the sea level, like I live near the coast, you'll have low density altitude, which means higher density, right? Low density altitudes, higher density, it's thicker air um, because the altitude's lower. Well, sometimes at sea level, you could have high density altitude, depending on maybe an air mass that's coming in. And you have to be aware of that. The temperature of the weather changes and the um, density level of the altitude at the same altitude level, right, can change uh, just because the air, an air mass is coming in or just whatever weather phenomenon is causing the atmospheric pressure and uh, density of the air to change. Um, so let's see, the performance of the SUAS can degrade, degrade with local changes in temperature and pressure, similar to the way the performance would degrade if used on top of a tall mountain. The combination of local temperature and pressure will determine the equivalent density altitude the uh, SUAS appears to be performing at. All right. Okay, um, so basically what I wanna make sure you understand here is that density altitude is just basically talking about what the air density is like at high or low altitudes, at certain altitudes. So when it says high density altitude, it's just saying high altitude or what air is usually like at high altitudes. When it's saying at low density altitudes, it's saying low altitude. What is the air like at low altitudes? At high altitudes, the air is usually thinner, so it's less dense. So high density altitude is usually low density, right? And then low density altitude is usually higher density. That's why I say it's counterintuitive. But just thinking, think of it like that. Think, drop the density part and just think high altitude, Density at high altitude, density at low altitude. Now, like I said, those things can change. Um, the, out, or the density altitude isn't always the same, right? And it will change because of weather. But think of it like this here. So here's some things I want you to be aware of. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. The effects of density altitude on SUAS, they will test on this. How is the density altitude affecting your drone? So decrease in pressure decreases the performance of your drone. So as there's less pressure in the atmosphere, um, and that's, that's one should be pretty intuitive. Increase in altitude decreases the performance of your drone, right? You're going up in altitude, the air is thinner. There's less air molecules for the blades of your UA to hit, right? Your quadcopter has those propellers. There's fewer air molecules for it to hit to keep it, to give it force, to give it lift. Um, so increase in altitude decreases performance. Increase in temperature decreases performance. Increases in humidity in decreases performance. I want you to know all these things. They are going to test these things on the, on the um, exam. So maybe you wanna write a flashcard like that. Atmosphere conditions, decrease in pressure. Flip on the other side, decrease in performance, or like decrease in UA performance. Um, if you have questions on any of these, please ask me in the comments section. What are the standard temperature and pressure values for sea level? We went over this, pause the video, answer this question. Okay, I should have answered it by now. So 
the answer to this question is 15 degrees Celsius and 29.92 Hg. I'm going to tell you right now, this is um, pretty, pretty likely to see a question like this. Uh, just what's the standard temperature and pressure values for sea level? I might ask you when UA manufacturers are manufacturing a UA, what do they base the standard day temperature and pressure values at? Something like that. Um, just make a flashcard, memorize this one. That's all this, that's all there is to this one. Which factor would tend to increase the density altitude at a given airport referenced in the weather briefing? Okay, uh, so go ahead, pause if you haven't paused already, try. Okay, increase in ambient te temperature. So an increase in ambient temperature um, would increase the density altitude at wherever. It doesn't even have to be a given airport. Um, so it's trying to throw you off of that second line of at a given airport reference in a weather briefing. So which weather factor would increase density altitude? So increase in ambient temperature. Remember, as temperature rises, you're going to see decreased UA performance because you're getting a higher density altitude. Um, decreased temperature, lower density altitude. Um, increase in relative humidity, higher density altitude. Decrease in barometric pressure, higher density altitude. Make sense? On a hot day, the air becomes thinner or lighter, and its density is equivalent to a higher altitude in the standard atmosphere, thus the term high density altitude. OK, that's all I want to do today. I'm going to come back and do another video on weather briefings. Um, I know I've been posting a lot of videos lately, so. Uh, I want to try to get this one out a little bit quicker. Uh, I did a METAR video. So go back. If you haven't watched the METAR video, I should relabel that to say it's part of my weather section because it totally is. Um, but I'm going to come back and do a TAF and METAR together because I don't have anything on TAFs yet. Uh, and then I'll briefly explain, explain some of the weather brief things in that video. All right. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments section. Again, thank you for watching Mr. Mig's Classroom. Please Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos. It means a lot to me when you subscribe uh, and give me a thumbs up. So please do that. If you have questions, throw them in the comment section. If you just want to say, hey, throw that in the comment section too. Thank you for watching. Take care. And I'll see you next time on Mr. Mix Classroom.